Live from Highline Community College, it's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'm here with Excel is Fun. Mike Gerwin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 145. How do we convert these strange dates into real dates? All right, so someone has dates here. This is year, month, day, and we need to convert those into real dates. I'm going to use Alt D E, data, text to columns. Doesn't matter what I choose here. Uh, we're going to make sure that there are no delimiters. And in step three, simply say that it is YMD, like that. And here we will even move this out to uh, B4, so that way we can see the before and the after. Click Finish, and we get the real dates there using data, text to column. Wow, that is the trick. That's the point right there. <laughs> you know, the first time I tried that, I was like, wow, I can't believe. I, it was just a desperation move. Uh, there's no way that this will work. I figured I was going to have to come out down here and use the equal date function. And for the year, use the left of this, comma, four. Now, I wonder, do I have to add zero to that? I'm going to try it without. We might have to come back. And then the mid of this, comma, five, comma, two. That means starting position five for length of two. And then the right of that, comma, two. Closing parenthesis, make sure the last parenthesis is black. I learned that from Mike. And we get the correct answer. Double click to shoot it down. So there's two different ways to go. Mike, let's see what you have. Wow, I love that text to columns. That is the only way to do. Well, if I have to do one without a formula, one with a formula, I'm going to use the, the bulky and difficult flash fill. And I actually learned this from Mr. Excel's book. Sometimes, because you have 0, 7, there's a 0 there. If you try to flash fill and put 7, 14, right? So if I were to 7 slash 14 slash 2001 and tried to flash fill that with data, flash fill, or control E, it wouldn't get it right. Control E? What the heck? What is control E? Control E, that's flash fill. So I learned this from Mr. Excel control one. I'm going to format this first to help it understand that lead zero. So I'm going to come down to custom. MM, that'll give me the lead zero slash DD slash YYY. Now, I'm going to have to give it two examples. So 07 slash 14 slash 2001. And I'm going to have to choose my second example, 11, 15 slash 2009. Hey, why did you, you leave the blank? Um, I'm picking two examples. There's uh, a 1-1 one, one and a 07. I'm thinking it needs two. Right. And then control E. And sure enough, that worked. Hey, uh, you can. I, w I would never use flash fill for this. Anytime there's a lead zero, times also give you trouble. But if you mess around long enough, then you figure uh, maybe you'd need some formatting and a couple examples. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Chad from Microsoft, who put flash fill together, said that with numbers, it was really, really tough to try and figure out what the pattern is. It's much easier when you have words for flash fill instead of numbers. So, yeah. Uh, why would you ever do flash fill when you have text to columns? Text to columns, year, year, month, or your YMD format. There you go. Or how about just the text function? Text Check function. this out. And then add a number format. Now we really want. There's no way that the text function is going to solve this. How are you going to solve this with a text function? Oh, no, we can do it with the text function. No way. Yeah, we're going to take this and we're going to add a custom number formatting. Check this out. We really want MM. D, D, Y, 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 right? But we can't do that. I'm going to put 0, 0, and I need to insert a slash. So I'm going to use backslash, forward slash. The backslash says whatever comes next, I'm going to insert this character. Then 0, 0, and then my V, backslash, forward slash, and then 0, 0, 0, 0 for the okay, year. Now, wait a second. First off, I love this because it's going to confuse my coworkers. They're going to, not going to understand what the V is. But that data that you have is YMD, so you need four zeros before the first V to get the year, right? Uh, it, you know, I, this is going to work. Let's There's try no it. There's no way this is going to work. And plus, uh, yeah, sure it is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, you need a comma. OK. But even with the comma, it's oh, not going to work. It's definitely going to work. Look no, at that. No, no, it's the year 0714. <laughs> Put four zeros. No, 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 four zeros first. In the first, in the first uh, batch, four zeros. Boop, boop, boop. Nope, one too many. Boop, 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 boop. And you have five zeros there. That should be four. 
So be that's going to look like a date. That's going to oh, look like a this date. This is going to be crazy. And then can you use the date value of that? Oh, watch this. No, I'm going to add zero. No way. Sure. <laughs> oh, look at that. Control one. What? It's actually going to work? No way. Oh, Get out of here. Insane. Oh, he sets me up. You know, I, I, I got up at 6 a.m. this morning. I flew out here. And Mike says, oh, yeah, I, go ahead. We'll do this duel. And he lets me do the, the good ways, right? And then here at the end, he throws this insane formula in. Hey, I didn't, I, I'm not that smart. I'm just a guy having fun with Excel. I learned this from Barry Houdini. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Barry Houdini at the Mr. Excel, Excel message, message board. board, the most amazing place in the world. Dad, Actually, you never told me about this. Oh, it's amazing. Actually, I saw him do it with a time. And just had a kick the other day, I tried it with the date, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. That is crazy. Already, already this uh, trip to Seattle is worth it for that trick right there. <laughs> Back with a point to me, point to you for that. That's crazy. And a point to Barry Houdini for that cool, cool trick. All right. No, no, I'm going to give a point to you for text to columns and then 10 points to Barry Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, hey, uh. That was amazing. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. Woohoo!